Greetings all, this is the J-Man from Metal Sharks. And on May 7th, 2019, I was blessed to be able to go out metal detecting with my dad, John Long Silver, my sister, the Seagull, and my brother, the Silver Stingray. And we went to St. George Island as featured in our video, Wheaties, Wheels, and World War II. Now, on that date, we also found something interesting, which we didn't reveal at the time, because we were trying to make efforts to find the rightful owner and that was a capsule. Whether it was a memory capsule or time capsule of sorts, that's what we found that day. And it had some writing on it, including a date of April 7, 2000. So that means the capsule had been for nearly, lost for, nearly, for more than 19 years. Placed in April of 2000, found in May of 2019. And so the location was a beach spot at St. George Island in Florida. And this was first announced, at least that we had found a capsule and we're trying to find the owner, in our June 12th video on Metal Sharks called Houston, We Have a Capsule. Now before the end of this video, we are going to reveal the first name at least of the rightful owner and the approximate location where we think that owner lived, at least in the year 2000. So there you have it, J-Man out. Wow, that's interesting. Taking a picture of it, Jamie. Open it. What, what does the day say? April 1? April 7, 2000. I want to see what's in it. I can't open it. Want me to try it? Yeah. That's crazy. There's stuff in there. I mean, there's stuff in there. I'm thinking because of all the hurricanes and stuff since 2000. He might not have been, might not ever find it if we didn't get it. I know. We, uh, we should open it live. I know you should. Can you film it for me while I sit in the chair? Yeah. Well, let me see if I can get it loose. Yeah, please. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. It sounds. It sounds like coins. It's got to be. Maybe it's a coin. <laughs> I found it with this thing, Dad. She wants you to check to see what signal you get. I got Sandy though. 84, no, 87, 86. What's that? I'm trying to film it, but it's pretty tight in there. I think I need to wash it down. You gotta stick it in the ocean first. Oh, that'll help. It's hard to do with this thing on. Yeah. I'm so just... excited I broke my shovel. <laughs> All right, get it out. Yeah, it's probably not too expensive. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Well, just look at that bunch of sand, Jim. Sand can be a pretty good ceiling. I don't think I can open it right now. We're not sure what might be in here. You know, it could be something where a youth collaborated with his or her grandparents and maybe put Hot Wheels cars in here for all we know. Or it could be something like maybe a couple got married and they had their reception at St. George Island and the, uh, the husband or the wife planted this hoping that the other spouse could be shown it years later. But maybe it got forgotten or shipped it. So it looks like it weighs about four pounds. It looks like I have it. It looks like it's uh, if you go end to end, it's about nine inches long. Also, my brother, the silver stingray, wanted me to mention that 
the uh, the family is kind of taking bets on what's in here. Like some of us are thinking it's some kind of matchbox cards from a child, whereas others have the theory that it's a uh, something romantic or wedding related. But who knows? Hopefully, it's not anything bad. But I guess that's a possibility in this sometimes crazy world. And then over here it says the date April 7, 2000. Let's seal it up. The other end is not threaded down quite as far and it has sand in it. And if you pick it up, it has a rattle. Seagull. Okay, this one's recording. Alright. Is that opening? It's not opening. Yeah, it is on the bottom. It's open. What do I do? Just keep, Just keep going. going. It's coming. But the, I don't want everything to spill out. It's a problem. Well, so it's really loose now. So why don't I undo it and then you can do the rest by hand, okay? Oh, yeah, that came from. That was like a fishing stuff. Okay. Well, alright. I'm opening it. Here it goes. Another tree. Whoa! All sorts of stuff. Oh, coins. Coins. There's money. Shells. Cards. There's a Hot Wheels. We are all right. <laughs> Why should I guess the, the money's kind of broken up, huh? Here. So water did get in. Let's go ahead and get a nice... Whoa. Wow, that's a silver dollar. Or no, that's a... Right. Oh, it was I, money, that's all. Well, don't tear it up. You might I'm not, but look, it was a five. Yeah. I told you. Well, do it one at a time. One at a time. Pull it out. Okay. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Well, it's silver, guys. It's that's a solid silver coin right there. That's a one ounce fine silver dollar. <laughs> nice. What's this? Wow. 2000. That's an American. 1999. Something in the car. That definitely was in the ground 20 years. Yeah. Boy. A pen. What does the pen say? Oh, teamwork. Together we achieve the extraordinary. Some golden or golden contracting. I don't know. It means something to somebody. In the show. Baseball cards. Oh, they're wet. I know. They should have. Put them out in the sun. Feel a lot better, I guess. More baseball well, cards. They should have been in a plastic bag. It survived a yeah. hurricane. More baseball cards. What year? Baseball cards. This was clearly meant for a grandson. Yeah. 1993. Wow. There's more. This one's trying try not to hurt it because they're wet. There's some in a plastic bag. Major League Baseball. There's a few more coins down there. I know where that money dollars came from though. It's all disintegrated. More baseball cards. Baseball I think cards. their mistake is they didn't seal it with some kind of a baseball. A, uh, there's, there's, the, there's the dollar sealed on the side. They probably didn't mean it to be there. I think it was just a five dollar bill. Here's more coins. A quarter. Some Anything 64 and older. These are new. Or 70 and older. There's 68. That's 40% silver. So this was a lot of excitement opening up this capsule. This is what the capsule looks like inside. As you can see, some uh, residue from got in there and some moisture. And uh, probably some of the paper cr corroded from these baseball cards is what's left in there or from the $5 bill that got damaged because there was leakage for the capsule. But this row here is what a number of baseball card packs that were in there. Some of them stayed intact when they had more plastic wrapping, but some that were more paper disintegrated and the cards are damp right now and then these are two Hot Wheels cars an old Aurora and then a Chaparral car 
from Hot Wheels, and then some kind of business marketing pin, and then a couple of shells, including one that says St. George Island. Two. So for the currency and coins, there was a $5 bill as shown here, and this got badly disintegrated as you can see. So probably can no longer redeem that from a bank. It's so torn up. But over here we have a 1999 Silver Eagle. And it's a beautiful design. It has nice toning on it. It's a one ounce fine silver coin. And then next we have a 1968 50 cent coin. And that one is 40% silver, President Kennedy. And then President Eisenhower coin, which is a, actually a bicentennial coin, 1976. And then next to that is a Canadian dollar coin, which is from 1975. And then below that are three Sacagawea dollar coins from 2000 Philadelphia mint mark. And then there are also some foreign coins including a 1957 50 peseta Spanish coin and then a una peseta coin from Spain 1975. $5. Lastly we have six statehood quarters from the late 1990s. So there you have it, a very exciting day for Metal Sharks. Greetings all, this is the J-Man from Metal Sharks with our final wrap up for this video, but hopefully not the end of the story. Now, as we mentioned, there's a name associated in some writing associated with this capsule. And the name is simply Terry, T-E-R-R-Y. And the first initial of the last name is the letter N, as in nighttime or nap time. So Terry N is the name that was associated with this capsule. Now, we didn't want to reveal the writing or the full name because we're hoping to avoid false claimants or contacts about the capsule, but we are trying to make a sincere effort to find the rightful owner because the contents of the capsule, though probably only worth about $30, the uh, contents may have a sentimental value and there may be a story behind it. So we're hoping to reunite this capsule with the right person. Video. Now, while working on this video, we did a little more research on one of the items found in the capsule and that was a promotional pen that had a company's name on it and contact information. And we've traced that down to a suburb of the Atlanta, Georgia area. So that could be a promising lead. And so we're working on getting in touch with that contact and seeing if they may help us figure out if Terry Ann worked for them back in the year 2000, if they can help us get in touch with he or she. So there you, so there you have it. That's about it for now. But if we do get in touch with Terry and his or her family, then we may do a follow-up video for you.